Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. And today we have the UMX Turbo Timber Evolution. So this plane is a knee flight line UMX Ultra Micro Extreme I think is what it means. And it is a it's 700 millimeter wingspan. It has flaps. It's a six channel, yeah. And it uses 3S or 2S right there. I use 3S, it's just more powerful. I'm using a DXEA. Yeah, I can't use flaps on it, but we I ordered a DX6 Gen 2. So, and I'm getting that Friday, and today is Monday. And we're flying, I'm flying later in the day. It's seven o'clock, and it's pretty windy, so it's not gonna be a good flight, but it'll be fun because this thing has AS3X and safe too. And I'm gonna be flying on safe because I'm not that good. And yeah, let's get to it. All right, so it has a magnetic cover, and you just plug it in right there. Put it on the Velcro strap, and then you're good. Then you just need to bind it to your Spectrum radio transmitter. It's not on bind mode yet. Oh, you're causing problems! Unplug that. Unplug that. That's good. Light is not flashing. All right. There we go. Think we're good? Let me attach my GoPro better. All right, I think we're good. Yeah, it is actually really windy. But, let's see. I'm flying on low rates right now. Just have a smoother experience. Almost went into the trees there. And since it's later in the day, you can get a good look at the lights. Just make sure the camera's good. Don't know if the GoPro can pick it up. But we'll see. This is really 3D capable. It has a really powerful engine. I don't know what it is, but it can hover. It has a really good weight to thrust ratio. I guess I can do like a roll or something. The sound is just crazy yeah just go straight up it has a pretty good like 10 or like 7 minute flight time for me which is pretty good And I accidentally fried two of my batteries because I used the wrong charger. And now it's a lot of money wasted, but we have one battery now. Which is still good because it charges extremely fast. If you use the recommended chargers off the Horizon Hobby. But anyways, this is a great little plane. It's a good beginner plane too, to be honest. The safe and the AS3X stabilization is really good. And on and like 2S is better for more slower like backyard flying. Bro. Tall grass. Let me try and get a smoother landing. If I had flaps, then I could land it extremely easily. But my landings are kind of limited right now.
Just the tall grass. Do a low pass, like a really low pass. <laughs> That's really aerobatic. <clears throat> Got a bunch of wind kicking in. It's also fun to fly inverted on this. And yeah. It cost $170, which is pretty expensive, but <clears throat> I mean, it's whatever. It's a good price for a great plane. And, but really, compared to my FMS Super Cub PA-18, 1300 millimeter that's 300 dollars ready to fly so <clears throat> and this is this comes in bind to fly just the plane no batteries or charger or nothing and uh, yeah that's pretty much all out of that i gotta say <laughs> can't have it I don't know how to fly inverted though. Those light, the lights are really bright though. <clears throat> That's what I like about it. It's good like dusk flyer. Bro, <laughs> I didn't know I was going that fast. That was, that was a propeller strike landing. I don't know, maybe, I don't know if it's my rudder, if my product is just faulty or what, but this has like barely any rudder. Let me put it on high rates. Oh, it's cause I'm in safe. All right, but it just has bad ground control and safe, I guess. Let's see if these crows wanna fight my plane. Oh, they don't. See, that's why I keep it on safe, because I, I just do stuff like that. Anyways, yeah. Hey, it's a really long flight time though. It's really good. Whoa, that was low. Oh, I forgot I was on high rates. <laughs> That's on safe. We'll do one more low flyby and then we'll land it. All right, let's see if we can get one okay landing.
it's just there's no wind, so it's kind of hard to land. Maybe we can land on the rocks. Wasn't that bad, but yeah, that's the Umix Turbo Timber Evolution.